Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. So I do apologize, you guys. It's not like a live, live react. Goo and I drove back down from Vermont last night and we're just exhausted. <laughs> so... Um, but I woke up not too long ago, and our girl has posted. Oh, wow. Um, about 48 minutes ago, she posted. Not bad, Amber. Not bad. The title of this video is What My Valentine Got Me for Valentine's Day, and Why Don't People Want to Be in My Vlogs? Vlog, girl. Okay, so let's just dive into this. Um, she's wearing the same sweater, so this is from literally last week. Um, so good job, girl. Also, your Valentine, probably your mom, um, and why people don't want to be in your vlogs. I think, so I don't think it's necessarily has to do with other people. I mean, I do. I think that, I think that some people to a degree definitely don't want to be seen on her channel and all that, but... I would say more so, Amber doesn't want her audience to get attached. She sees how we pick the side of all of her side characters. We always take their side. Uh, when controversy comes up or there's new tea or whatever, everyone always takes the side of the side characters. And look at how well-loved, like, Becky was. I mean, people had their issues with her, but, like, look at the amount of love and support that Beck gets compared to Amber. I think Amber doesn't like that, and I think she's going to make sure that no one upstages her on her own channel ever again. And by doing so, she's fucking killing her entire channel. But anyways, guys, I don't want to be fucking ranting on and on right in the beginning. Let's just dive right in, shall we? Hey guys, so welcome- Hey, Amber. To a new video. So you guys did see me wear this for my weigh-in. Today is- Yeah, you did a weigh-in. You didn't do your what I ate in a day video, which thank fuck. Day. My friends left Monday night and I just rested the whole Tuesday. So that is basic. We're basically a whole week or so behind in the vlogs. Pooped. Because <laughs> Miss Girl couldn't be bothered to work. Now it's Wednesday. I filmed my video. I've been productive, but. Girl, the fuck that matter if you're productive if a week later when you decide to actually show the video, it's. <laughs> <laughs> You're a full week behind, dude. Also, nice face, Amber. Ugh. Guys, try to guess what is in this heavy, huge box. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know. A lipo machine? I don't know. I'll let you guys think Probably about some stupid fucking Legos. <laughs> while I tell you the story time. So there is someone in my life. Oh, God. Uh... I don't know if y'all saw on her Instagram, she's been uh, hinting and alluding to she's seeing someone. I don't fucking believe it. Like, and if she is seeing someone, it's not going to be for long because it doesn't take anyone more than a few, like, a few business days <laughs> to figure out what the fuck is up with this girl. I would say is special um in that way we're not in a relationship though so calm down girl why are you telling us to calm down why don't you calm down why don't you save your life instead of worrying about who's going to be eating your kitty next sorry that was gross but like come on girl there are much bigger priorities and i have been friends with this person since september and <laughs> oh wow <laughs> Wow, best of friends. It's the two best friends that anyone has ever known. They've known each other since September? Oh my god. We've become really good friends and like the whole time crushing on each other. But we asked Girl, each bye. to be each other's valentines. So that was like a cute- Oh, I hope this is a troll. Not from her. I hope she's getting trolled. Like- Girl, you need to be so much more careful, honestly. You want to come on here and bitch about how it's not safe out there for women. Which I agree. I agree. I'm not mocking that, like, sentiment. What I'm mocking is <laughs> Amber Lynn, a 
quote unquote celebrity is trying to find her perfect match just off of the internet. And she doesn't think that that's going to lead to an issue or anything. Okay. So I'm going to be referring to her as my Valentine because I'm not going to say her name. Just out of respect. But she is one oh, of my shut up. very best friends. But we, like, I was going to say... How sad is it, dude? She just met this person in September, okay? It hasn't even been a full year. It's her best friend. She's got no one, dude. She's got no one. You like each other, but it's high key at this point. So, I was high key. <laughs> uh. Of her. And we were just talking about my Legos, and I mentioned- Your legs or your Legos? <laughs> a Lego, just like- Lego. <laughs> you know, randomly a Lego that I'm interested in. Oh my God. I knew it, it was a fucking Lego. Literally just talk about everything. And I don't like, give a shit, girl. I don't give a shit. Oh my God. This is a very popular topic because I'm obsessed. I mentioned, yeah, there's like this Lego. It's like hundreds of dollars though. So I'm not gonna like get it anytime soon, but it's a- Girl, buy as if you don't make thousands and thousands of dollars a month but you spend it all on takeout. So that's why you don't have money for jack shit. <laughs> Jesus fuck, dude. If she went to just one meal a day, she could literally cut her budget in half. Be the next one that I get for myself that's like a bigger purchase. And we just like went on to the next conversation and- Oh, whatever, girl. Like an hour after we got off the phone and she messaged me and she was like, I have a question. And I was like, oh my God. Usually when someone just comes out like that, they're just- Oh my God. I, w I will actually agree to that. I fucking hate it when someone asks me like, can I have a, can I ask you a question? Or can we talk later? Like, just to ask me now. Just ask me now. Don't blue ball me on this. <laughs> my anxiety will go through the fucking roof. I have a question or like, I have to talk to you. Like, I immediately get anxiety and I'm just like, oh my- No, I, I understand that. I do. I'm not gonna rag on her too, too much, but I get that. <laughs> Is it? She literally said, let me get you that Lego you want. And I- Girl, bye. Girl, bye. I have a feeling she a thousand percent bought this for herself. <laughs> a thousand percent. Like, please. Oh, and Berlin doesn't have enough money for her Lego that she really wants? Oh, no. Oh, no. Girl. So, like, after saying no, after doing the whole, like, oh, my God, but it's so expensive, I finally gave in. Oh, girl, bye. Girl, bye. You did not fight it. You did not argue it. You were just like... Oh, okay, really? Okay, my address is blah, 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 blah. And she got me, oh my god, I just can't even believe it. For Valentine's Day, she got me this Lego that I've been wanting. Oh my god. Oh my god, what a great love interest. Getting you shit so you can sit there and do nothing. <laughs> wow, very great. I just can't. Like, how- The thing is, she could be using, like, that- bike foot pedal thing that Feline got her while she does the Legos and I would give her a lot less shit for it. Do you think she is though, guys? No. She, I don't even think she has that thing anymore. Sweet is that? But another small box came with that. So I'm gonna open it. Wow, I don't care. So I asked my Valentine, I was like, what do you want? Well, I asked my Valentine, my Valentine. She just wants to fucking be able to say that she has a Valentine this year, dude. She's so, like, pathetic, honestly. Honestly. She's been working so hard to try and have a bitch for fucking February, Valentine's Day, and <laughs> girl, bye. Girl, bye. Like, what do you want me to get you? Like, I feel- Making up your imaginary friends again, I see. So... Just like, I cannot believe it. Like, do I deserve this? No, girl, you don't deserve shit. <laughs> if we're being honest, no, you don't deserve anything. It's like, you know, if I think of something I want, I'll let you know. But I'm over here just like, I need to get you something. Like, oh my god, shut up. Joking? Oh my gosh. It's joking? Joking? Well, she clearly hasn't talked with this person on the phone because they don't know how fucking irritating her voice is box was this limited edition i guess it's like a valentine's day little lego oh it is so God. adorable 
and it looks like this. Oh my god. You guys are gonna LOL, but the reason why I'm wearing Girl, I'm not LOLing, okay? I'm rolling my fucking eyes because this is all you're 33 years old, dog, and this is shit that not even a 13 year old would post. Okay? You are literally making content for fucking six year olds. This like a little Valentine's Day outfit is because I knew this was arriving today and I knew Oh, did you? You knew this was arriving last week. Yeah, because you're so behind, because you don't know how to work. Yeah. That actually today was going to be the day that I was going to ask her to be my Valentine. So it all just kind of like... Oh my God. <sighs> ...out perfectly, and that's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, and of course you were the one that had to initiate the question, Amber. Because hmm? I wanted to have like a little girly pop outfit for that. Oh my God, shut the fuck up. <sighs> can't really be a girly pop, Amber, when there's 450 extra pounds on you. Okay, girl? You ate the girly pop. I know that sounds silly, but okay. Are you guys ready to see the Lego? Oh my god, I cannot believe this is real life right now. Oh, shut up. I'm so excited. It's going to be something so fucking stupid, too. I just know it. I just know it. Heavy. Once y'all see this Lego, a lot of you are going to be very confused, but I love that. I'm just... Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Whatever era or personality we are in, can she please fucking, like, move on to the next? Please. I fucking beg her. Oh my god, this shit is so annoying. Quirky and confusing. So I am not like... <sighs> Jordan, she's trying to do this to you. She's trying to do this to you. She's trying to get you to, like, actually be a dickhead to her. I'm not going to give her what she wants, even though she's dumb. <laughs> Batman girly, like, you're not going to see me watching the Batman movies on my free time, but there are... So it's, a, it's the Batmobile. Pretty awesome. Girl, what's the point of getting these super expensive, because this is now the second Lego set that she's been gifted that's super expensive. Why is she not paying for it, for one, as someone who makes thousands and thousands of dollars a month? Why is she not uh, buying it? And two, she's going to turn around and sell it. She's going to do exactly what she did to Feline's Titanic, and I guarantee you that was one of the reasons why Feline was like, I deuces, I'm out, bitch. You sold off the fucking nearly thousand dollar gift that I got you? Fuck you. Batman Legos, and the minute I saw the Batcave, I literally said- Oh, it's the Batcave one, oh, okay. Dude, that's just so big, and where where the fuck are you gonna put that? Had to have it, like, tell I me- just had to. Hold on, you guys, hold on. I wanna look up how much this is. $400, $400. So that, whatever dumbass she's apparently talking to online, Got it to her for $400. Oh, but you can get a lighting kit with it. That makes it look really cool. I'm not gonna lie. The lighting kit makes it look fucking dope. But just that? Just that for 400 bucks? Bitch, fuck off. <laughs> and stunning. She makes that, she makes $400 in one video, dude. Like, why does she need to be making this girl that probably actually works go and pay for her shit? It is the coolest looking thing ever, and I'm so excited to build that and then like have it. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but she's gonna put it somewhere. Like I am obsessed. And then why'd she say she's gonna put it somewhere? Amber, did you already move this bitch in? The back cave literally opens up, as you can see here. I am so excited. You guys have no idea. Oh my, my Valentine, the person who got it for me, like literally, you know. My Valentine. She's literally a fucking child, dude. She's such a like, <laughs> she's so fucking mentally regressed. Grateful and appreciative I am and like shocked. I'm just very thankful for Like it, it just seems like she's perpetually stuck between the age of like 10 and 14, you know? Like, that's what it's giving. That we have right now. That's what it's always given, truthfully. Like, whatever's blossoming, like, it just feels really good. Whatever's blossoming. Oh, please. And then, girl, but just the last week, you were like, I lost someone, and it hurts my soul so much. Like, shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. 
Go to therapy, dude. The emotional whiplash that you're giving us, I can just imagine how you fucking deal with it. God damn. Love you. Like, you're amazing. Oh, well, shut you up, dude. Shut up. <sighs> you haven't even known the person a year, and it's... Oh, I love you so much, BB. Thank you. You're the best Valentine's ever. Guys, this happened. Yeah, I did. It broke. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm very sad. Well, dude, you fucking throw those fucking sausages around like crazy. It was about time that it got whacked on something drive me crazy maybe i can like glue that piece on girl doubt it but you're just stupid oh boy okay guys they're so fake nails dude <laughs> they're fake fucking nails like who cares i went to five below with my mom so i wanted to show you the things i got uh, of course she did a haul moment okay don't come for me i know this is weird even while at five below i was like mom um, should I get this? Yeah, probably not. That's probably the answer. Is a big fat no. Like I would have regretted not getting it. So I want to put these <laughs> on my couch. Oh, almost dropped her. So I want to put. Girl, why? That doesn't even fit your vibe. Really doesn't. I've wanted like succulent pillows and leaf pillows, stuff like that, for a little bit now. A lot of them are really expensive, though, guys. But, like, girl, why? That wouldn't even fit your vibe. Now, on my green couch, it would look beautiful. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's not giving. Two of them on my couch. I, it's just an aesthetic. It just looks. Yeah, one that doesn't really belong to you. It's weird. And girl, it's not weird. Like, oh, my God. She's, she's so annoying. <laughs> I love it. So we're going to put it on my couch and see how it She's literally getting like more and more insufferable every video, you guys. Like I I kind of can't stand it. I've said it before. I think the Crystal era reacts are more fucking entertaining than this shit. But I also got two more pillows. Just wait. So these are honestly oh, wonderful. Okay. How she doesn't even need more pillows, dude. She already has a pillow mountain. Well, I'm not sure how it's going to go with my couch. But the thing is, I know that I can- Yeah, exactly. You just buy shit, dude. You don't even buy shit that you know, like, you have a place to put or that it's going to go well. You just buy it. Make it work. That's why your entire apartment is so fucking hodgepodge bullshit. Like, there's not a single cohesive aesthetic between any of the rooms. Tell me these aren't the cutest things you've ever seen. Oh, oh more cherries. Big cherry. God, so I got big, big. Did you call me big? Two of them. They also had ones with cactuses on them, but these, these are where it's at. Like I love. Yeah, but Amber, I don't consider you a cherry unless it's a moldy cherry. You are a thousand percent a cactus. Rigid, hard, a prick. <laughs> aesthetic of like this white color with like a pop of red with the cherries i think it's so cute mm, so cute so fucking adorable and then, oh dropping bags and then another decor piece which i thought was so cute girl you went spent all this money at five below showing it on here so you can write it off on your taxes you also bought that bat cave for yourself wrote that off for tax purposes like come on now although i wonder is it technically fraud if you say that it was a gift but then you try to uh capitalize off of it through your taxes and say oh well i actually bought this and i showed it on camera for a video but if you allude that someone else bought it for you as a gift, does that still count towards the tax credit? I don't know. Is this disco ball? I love the aesthetic of a disco ball. So oh I was my like God, dude. I would love to see her fucking spell the word aesthetic. Like Christ. <laughs> Okay, your girly pop needs one. I don't know if I'm gonna hang it or just like set it. We'll see. I got a new journal. Girl. You can't reach anywhere to hang it, so you're just going to set it. 
don't come for me. I journal a lot, folks. Um, you said recently that you haven't been journaling at all. So, no, you don't, girl. <laughs> she is such a lie. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's so hard to tell if, like, she's genuinely just, like, this, like, slow or if she actually, like, feels this way. This says cherry, cherry, cherry. But now that you don't have a new caretaker there to wipe your ass, you have to absorb your mom's personality. Over and over. I just thought it was so cute. Last but not least. Who fucking cares, dude? Not that I needed these. There's just like a lot of different and weird types of candies at Five Below. And, and I you just have to try them all, don't you? I didn't get any, but I saw boba milk tea jelly bellies. So I was like... I want to try them. Realist jelly belly with a jelly belly. How ironic. This isn't going to make me gain weight if I try a few. So. Girl, but you don't need it. That's the thing. Let's not get mad at the jelly bellies. Um, no, we're going to get mad at you, the heifer that's st stuffing candy into her face on camera. It's like a little taste test. There's a mango milk tea, a taro milk tea. A oh, I don't give a fuck. Milk tea. Although, I'll be honest, I did buy some canned boba milk teas the other day. I kind of want to try them, but I'm skeptical. <laughs> milk tea and Thai milk tea. They're all packaged individually, so... She don't know the fucking difference between any of those. The first one, because I know I'm going to hate it. <laughs> Let's do the matcha tea. I'm not a matcha girly. All right. That's actually not bad. Wow. Oh, wow. Amber liked candy, of course. She even said herself, dude, like the bean boozled ones, that she actually enjoys the gross flavors. Like, that's how fucked she is in the head. <laughs> hey, let's do taro. Am I pronouncing that wrong? It's taro, but you probably don't even know what it is. I'm not feeling that one. Ew. Taro's like a sweet potato, isn't it? Very much reminds me of like the popcorn jelly belly which i hate so much okay so next one is the mango milk tea i will give her that salted or buttered popcorn the worst fucking jelly belly flavor it's so disgusting mm -hmm. i knew she was gonna be good all right let's do the thai one. <sighs> oh no mm -mm. way to go amber you bought a whole pack of things and you only like two of the flavors Oh, that tastes like rotted milk. Ew. That's a no for me. Last but not least, strawberry milk tea. Mm-hmm. I knew I was going to like you, So you just like the strawberry and the mango one, girl. Shut up. <laughs> That's why I chose her last. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys. Oh, perfect. <laughs> one of my new favorite meals that I've been getting lately. Okay, so I get what the fuck is that? Oh, okay. I'm realizing now what it is. I thought this was like breakfast food. She's going all Middle Eastern on us, too. What is with these ladies and their Middle Eastern food and not being able to lose any weight from it? My God. When I eat, like, Arabic food and shit like that, I'm so healthy. <laughs> Mediterranean place. This is seasoned beef. That's literally all it is. Oh, girl, that's lo that looks like all it is. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. It kind of looks like a turd, but I don't want to be rude. <laughs> that was basically a kebab at one i am seeing that hummus though i got i ordered egyptian food the other day um after i watched chantal's react uh mukbang honestly they had the best fucking hummus i've ever had in my life i need to order it again today honestly it was so good and then you get basmati rice pita bread and i like so uh, just a bunch of carbs really do get this hummus so it's a trio of a spicy hummus, a basil pesto hummus, and just like an original. Girl, you do you really need all that? Do you really? And I try to just order this by itself, the spicy one, because that's the one that I eat. I don't really eat these two at all. But Girl, what the f <laughs> So you're wasting food, um, and what the fuck difference does it make? Just mix it all together and it's all going to taste the fucking same. Spicy one slaps, and you get it with some slaps. You guys, it slaps. It fucking slaps, dog. Oh my god.
pita and it comes with a little extra pita i hate the fact that she dated a brooklyn bitch i really do <laughs> i fucking do because i hate how amber lynn is just now like 10 years late to the fucking party coming in with the lingo and shit oh my god they do give a lot of meat though i usually only finish two of those <laughs> yeah i bet amber as you guys know i'm not really a tomato girly so i don't eat that okay so i'm she just has to point out what she does and doesn't eat just so that we know she's a dainty girl, okay? She might be 550 pounds, you guys, but she's dainty. I'm just chilling on my couch, but... Oh, wow. Probably the fucking usual. There is, like, a hot topic that people are talking about. People are thinking that I lied about having friends. Well, you've done it in the past, so that's why me because they weren't in my videos their voices weren't and that's because i highly respect people's privacy girl bye girl bye let's just look at the crystal videos where you don't give a flying fuck about no one and they didn't even want their voices in my video so girl i mean if it was eric and ricky if it truly was them then yeah good on them for not wanting to be seen because they would have gotten railed for going and hanging out with the bitch that fucked up their best friend's life. Sure, sure. I have to respect that, and so whenever I would film something, it's because either they, A, weren't talking, so we had a break in my filming, because- Oh, girl, bye, bye. The whole time they were here, it, it was just a lot of this, like- Yeah, so you probably had to be like, okay, guys, shut up, I need to film something real quick. To laughter. And- to be honest, no, there was only one other person sitting at that table with you at the uh, hot pot place. You went out with your mom, girl. Like, please. Just talking and just having a great time. Um, and obviously I didn't film any of that because they just don't want to be in my videos. And I have to understand that. Like, in the past... Oh, I just have to understand that. Mm. Oh, in the past what, girl? Tell us. I have filmed a lot of people. And... Mm -hmm. And yet you have the balls to come on here and bitch when someone does it about you. It's with some of the, like the community that follows me, it makes it to where people don't want to be in my videos anymore. No, girl. No, it's because of how you portray people and how you talk to people on camera. You're fucking rude, dude. You are. And I don't expect you to be able to see it yourself, but trust and believe that everyone around you can see it. Trust and believe, girl. And I hope that makes you a bit paranoid because like some paranoia will actually help you a lot. <laughs> Let me tell you what. Nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with like the way that a large group of people who watch my video. No, girl, it has everything to do with you. It really does. I mean, partially, yes, it does have to do with your audience. And if it was Eric and Ricky, they know that they would have gotten so much shit for going and hanging out with you. Especially because it's just like, what, boys? You needed a quick little vacation, so you had Hamby pay for it? Like, oh, wow. Great job. The way that they, like, treat people in my videos. Like, No, girl. It's the way you treat people in your videos. There's a big fucking difference. No one wants to be bent over on the internet and fucked in the ass like some little bitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no one wants to be some, like, joke for you and your fucking video like <laughs> it's just a lot of like doxing or just like really rude no girl no i mean i don't know there has been some doxing going on recently but like no no uh, that's not the reason rude things are said and rumors etc etc so i'm just gonna like respect people um, people can yeah that's hard for you girl that's hard think that i'm lying about having friends people can think i'm lying about my weight people can think i'm lying about whatever i'm very much well the day that i see you like not just constantly filming from a seated position girl then i'll fucking believe it An era where i just don't care anymore <laughs> like i have tried so hard to prove yeah we know you don't care girl that's why you're shooting back up in the weight in the past regarding so many things and it's like Sure, if there's like a rumor or a question or something that people are talking about, like, I will come on here, I'll talk about it, and then that's just gonna be the end of it. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and just like rant and rave and vent and try to prove myself. Girl, that's exactly what you do. Also, like, slight shade to Chantal, I think. 
I think she's shading uh, Chantal a little bit here. Bunch of people who just don't want to hear what I have to say. So they create their own storyline from my life. Girl, bye. It's because we can't trust what you have to say. How do you not fucking get it yet that you are an unreliable narrator? So no one can believe you. Something that I've dealt with on YouTube for a while now. And it's just like. I'm yeah, it's because you're a perpetual liar, dude. Actually at like a stage in my life where I just like don't care. Like I'm unbothered. Literally unbothered. Yeah, you're unbothered by the 500 plus pounds on you too, girl. And that's what's really concerning. Fuck all about this. Who fucking gives a shit about this when like in a year's time, dude, who even knows if you'll still be here? Like Amber, there are much more dire things to be worrying about than, oh, am I going to have a Valentine's this year? Oh, my best friend. Oh, blah, blah, blah. They bought me this. Oh, my best friends are coming to visit me. Oh, but people don't believe. Like, girl, <laughs> there is so many more pressing fucking issues than this bullshit, okay? I'll mention something once or twice, but then that's the end of it. Like, you... Girl, please. You be mentioned that fucking photo for the past two weeks now. Enjoy whatever you need to do to fill your time. I'm just not going to be a part of it. Girl, and you do whatever you need to do to fill your time, which is Legos and eating, okay? So you have fun with that, Amber. Oh, and hang out with your mommy. I forgot that, too. So anyways, yeah, I just watched the new episode of Jersey Shore. Super happy about that. Who fucking cares, dude? She's not going to even... So, okay. She can say, for almost every single episode of A Thousand Pound Sister, she would say, so I watched the new Thousand Pound episode. She completely ignores the finale. And then now she's just jumping into another show. Girl. She can't even, like, come online and pay her respects. I am behind on A Thousand Pound Sisters. I'm two episodes. Girl. I heard the last episode was like super freaking sad. So I don't. Don't say it like that, girl. Don't say it like it's just some like rom com movie, okay? That last episode was tragic. Tragic. I do not want Amberlynn to fucking come on here and now be like, oh, you guys, I heard it was so sad. Like, what even happened? Girl, you know what the fuck happened how I'm gonna be able to go into that. Okay, guys, I'm about to put down my new pillows, but I just wanted to show you like what my living room looks like. Oh, I'm about to put down my new pillows, guys. I'm gonna throw them on the couch. It's gonna be so much hard work. Before that, this is just how she looks every day. Literally a thousand fucking pillows. Can you even sit on the couch comfortably with that many pillows, dude? Or just some um, graphic novels. It's like my favorite graphic novel series oh One wow the graphic novels so was it crystal that came to visit um it's saga so good over here is Twinkie's bed she has that corner to herself um so yeah this is before you guys i love the papa green it does something for me but i can't figure out what to do with the disco ball this is absolutely no shade to, like, any of my audience members or anyone watching that, like, might live in a place like this. Absolutely not. This is a very nice apartment. I will say, though, it's kind of dawning to see her in such a small apartment again when we know she still makes a lot of money. Like, we can say, oh, her channel is dying. She's not getting as many views. Yeah, but she's still making hundreds and hundreds of dollars per video. That's a lot. So, she can afford a nice place, and she's in this. You know for a fact she'd be brushing up against this when she tries to walk by that couch. That's maybe two feet of room. That ain't enough for Amber. I was going to take my Saga books off my coffee table and put this instead. Let me know what you guys think. Girl, you are just so bored. <laughs> oh, that's a big no for me. That looks... Oh my... Girl, are you... That's a big no from me. It's literally just the books missing. Shut the fuck up. Almost Why is this her most insufferable video? Pathetic. <laughs> I do not like that. I might have to find a different spot for you. I just love it so much. Girl. See, this is cute. I love the whole her vibe is just so all over the fucking place, dude. 
My god. She had to find a new apartment so that she could steal someone else's personality again. Yes, but now it's making me want to, like, look on Amazon if I can find, like, bigger ones. Because it just seems so small. I don't know. Let me know. So she can go spend hundreds of dollars on these stupid fucking pillows. But, oh, that bitch. You better buy her her Legos for her. <laughs> think i know you'll be honest y'all i just walked yeah, it looks stupid dog like it just doesn't match at all like the vibe of the actual apartment is not giving any of that halftime show like, she's got the fucking whole millennium millennial gray just bullshit annoying boring color palette she can't fucking decorate at all Unless the boy, uh, mom's boyfriend comes over and helps her. Like, did she even hang up those pictures yet, dude? <laughs> I do not watch football. Not really 100% my thing, but I did watch the halftime show because I have... So, you literally didn't film for like a week, dog. Jesus fuck. <sighs> and Usher, girly pop, like, I love him so much. I literally... Did y'all know that Beyonce and Jay-Z bought the Super Bowl? Like the halftime show? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I'm listening to his music and- But that's such like a long haul, like serve, you know? Like that's playing the long game. Cause if we remember, Beyonce has always gotten shit for her halftime shows. The first one that she did, she got a lot of shit for, even though it was incredible. And the second time she performed, which was with Bruno Mars and she did Formation, do you remember the backlash from that? Do you remember all of the upset racist people that were nearly like shitting themselves because of that performance? Well, <laughs> what? Like, that's such smart thinking of like, well, if these people are going to perpetuate and think that the Super Bowl isn't for blackness or for black people, because that was the vibe it was giving. We'll, we'll just buy it. We'll buy it and we'll platform black artists and we'll platform them in a way that everyone just kind of has to accept it. It's a serve. It really is. My eighth grade talent show, I did a dance to one of his songs with a really good- Yeah, girl, I bet. Mine at the time. But that halftime show I is- want, I want video evidence of that. <laughs> far the best halftime show i have ever seen my millennial dream has come girl what i don't know i didn't watch it but i'm not like a huge usher fan anyway so i don't really care true like that was incredible i felt very girl name one usher song it's ported back to that era of my life i was grooving and like the special oh my god the special guest like Ludacris, alicia keys y'all that was awesome if you haven't seen it Search girl, shut up. I mean, I've seen Alicia Keys perform before. She is good, but YouTube. Like, why is Amber here fucking touting on about the goddamn halftime show? Like, do we any of us give a fuck? No. It was beautiful. It's totally okay, random. Who cares, girl? Usher is actually one of the biggest celebrities that I've actually seen in person. I was actually at a baseball game. God. I was probably 14. There was a baseball game in San Francisco, and he was actually there. Girl, what? <laughs> Random moment. Did I go up to him? No. Did I want to? Maybe. So I am going to end this vlog. Could you imagine being Usher and seeing this thing waddling towards you? Oof. <laughs> oh, just got to put the books in the background. Like, look, guys, she reads. She's reading. None of those are very thick, though, Amber. Hmm. <laughs> I do hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Uh, it was so annoying. It was so fucking annoying. Well, we're here, so we might as well check the comments, right? I know we haven't checked the comments in a while, but... A big cherry? Are you calling me big? Big? <laughs> Only Amber would spend hundreds of, dollars, hundreds of dollars on a Lego set of a fandom she's not really even into to try to pass it off as a Valentine's Day gift. Dude, she's just bored and doesn't have anything else to build because she's done all the fucking sets. I highly respect people's privacy. Since when? <laughs> Imaginary girlfriends are the sweetest. Y'all, these comments are going in. There's no way in hell somebody you just met bought you a $400 Lego Batcave, much like the moon landing didn't happen, period. <laughs> 
Okay. Okay, crazy crossing mom. I'll agree with you, but like, I don't know. I think the moon landing happened, guys. <laughs> Who else is convinced she bought herself those Lego sets and there is no Valentine whatsoever? A thousand percent. Because girl who buys their unofficial valentine friend four hundred dollars worth of valentine's gifts no one ever yeah oh who buys yeah no one i'm so ready for a new character you're not gonna get it girl you're not gonna get it even if this person is like the greatest love amber lynn has ever had she's not gonna put them on camera because she's not gonna allow us to take their side this is the audience you created. You need to look for a job in the real world if you're not going to show anything interesting anymore. Ooh, damn, Allison. At this point, I'm less confused with her having a new bae. I'm more confused with how fast she switches her best friend slash favorite person. Oh, but well, you see, coffee shop, that's the BPD. So it's not her fault, okay? That's not her. It's her BPD. Her BPD isn't a part of her. It's just a disease that her brain has. But that's not a part of her. That's not how that works. No fucking way you were feeling so lonely and left out of Valentine's Day that you put the work in to get a new GF in time for the holidays. I'm dying. And if only you put that much effort into taking care of your health. Exactly, dude. Exactly. She's got her priorities all fucked up. The dorm room type decorations are killing me. That's what it's giving. Okay that's the energy it's giving it's dorm room a thousand percent it's giving dorm room just hodgepodge bullshit girl i cannot wait for the new caregiver to start freeloading well the thing is she always sets it up as oh this person just they buy me so much they get me so many things when like i don't believe that's the case like wifey i think she definitely did buy her some gifts here or there but like no, she knows now to portray them not as freeloaders. New caregiver, here she comes. I really don't think there's another girl. I like how our girl speaks with her hands since she got acrylic. She's like the 12-year-old girls in school when they got their first press-on nails. It's the start of a new era, girls. It's really not, though. It's really not. Until she moves a new bitch in, it's not the start. Love that you couldn't think of something to get for your Valentine that you know so well, but you gave in on her buying you the expensive-ass Lego. Next relationship, Ari, off to a good start. You don't truly care about anyone but yourself. Years and years of this. I'm tired, Am. <laughs> we all are bud <laughs> anyways though guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate you tuning in uh let me know your thoughts down in the comments below do we think amber's friends girlfriend and anything that she says is real <laughs> i know y'all will let me know um but thank you so much for watching i do apologize you know it's just my voice it's a lazy day here in our house <laughs> goo is still in bed next to me so we're just having a nice day hanging out here but i do hope you guys enjoyed let me know your thoughts like and subscribe become a channel member and i'll catch you guys in the next one take care